For motorists going to Bonifacio Global City, BGC Taguig, and Capitolio Pasig, and vice versa, the way to do so is either C5 or via EDSA. The Google Maps satellite imagery shows that if the motorist is from a place in Pasig, he can take the roads in this city, passing through the stretch of EDSA, and then to JP Rizal and Lawton Avenue going to BGC Taguig. This is a long distance and will take hours of travel considering the heavy traffic in EDSA. Is there a shorter way to travel from Pasig to BGC Taguig? The route that will require shorter travel time. The alternative route, the BGC Ortiga Center Link Bridge, also known as Santa Monica Lawton Bridge, will be finished and will be completed within 2021. When this bridge is completed, travel time from Taguig to Pasig and vice versa will be reduced to only 12 minutes. To avoid the congested EDSA and a long distance trip from Pasig to BGC Taguig, the 440 meter Santa Monica Lawton Bridge is the shorter distance travel to the motorist. The motorists and travelers always consider the route with shorter distance or displacement to reach their destination. Distance and displacement. These two quantities may seem to mean the same thing, yet have distinctly different definitions and meanings. Aside from time, speed, velocity, and acceleration, the motion of an object can be analyzed in terms of distance and displacement. To describe an object's motion, we need to specify its position at a particular time and how its position changes with respect to a frame of reference. Distance, which can be denoted with the small letter d, is the measurement of the length of the actual path traveled between two points. Distance is a scalar quantity which only represents the magnitude of interval between two points. This quantity can be expressed in units of length like centimeter, meter, kilometer, and mile. Based on the definition, the total distance can be determined by getting the sum of the distances traveled by the object. In equation, distance or d is equal to d sub 1 plus d sub 2 plus the other distances traveled by the object. For example, the man that walks in the hallway. Initially one meter away relative to the plant in the hallway, the man walks to the right until he is four meters away from the plant. The diagram shows the three meter distance traveled by the man from his initial position. On the other hand, displacement which can be denoted with delta D is defined as the change in position of an object or the distance between the initial point and final point of an object. It is also said to be the shortest distance between the initial and final points. Displacement is a vector quantity and has a direction and magnitude. The direction of the change in position of an object makes it different from the distance. It is represented visually as an arrow that points from the initial position to the final position of an object. For vector quantities like displacement, east and north are considered as positive directions, while west and south are negative directions. These signs are in reference to the coordinate system in which the east direction lies along the positive x-axis and the west direction lies along the negative x-axis. On the other hand, the north direction lies along the positive y-axis and the south direction lies along the negative y-axis. Like distance, the displacement can also be expressed in units of length, centimeter, meter, kilometer, and mile. Being defined as the change in position of an object, the displacement can be determined by getting the difference of the final and initial positions of the object from the frame of reference. In equation, displacement or delta D is equal to D sub F minus D sub I where d sub f refers to the value of the final position, d sub i refers to the value of the initial position, 
Delta D is the symbol used to represent displacement. Delta is a Greek letter which means change in. You can also determine the displacement vector by solving for the sum of the displacements of an object. Note that when using this equation to solve for the displacement, always consider the signs of the displacements based on their directions. Let us use the same example with the distance. The man's initial position with respect to the plant is 1 meter, and his final position is 4 meters. Thus, his displacement or change in position relative to the plant can be found as follows. Displacement or delta D equals the difference of the final position and initial position of an object, or D sub F minus D sub I equals 4 meters minus 1 meter is equal to 3 meters. The displacement represented by an arrow drawn from the point of origin to the final position of an object is pointing towards the east. Hence, the displacement is 3 meters to the east. For a deeper understanding of these two physics terms, let us consider a car moving from point A to point B. If the total length between these two points is 120 meters, then the total distance covered by the car is 120 meters. What about the displacement? The initial position of the car is 0 meter and the final position B is 120 meters relative to A. The displacement is 120 meters, the final position of the car, minus 0 meter, its initial position, is equal to 120 meters to the east. What can you notice on the distance and displacement? The magnitude of the distance and displacement are the same. This happens when the object is moving in one direction. The displacement of an object that changes direction is a different story. The car moves from point A to B. Then travels back to point A. What is the distance and displacement of the car? From point A to point B, the car has covered 120 meters and another 120 meters from B back to A. To calculate the total distance traveled by the car, just get the sum of the distances. So the total distance traveled is 120 meters plus 120 meters equals 240 meters. How about the car's displacement? Let us analyze the overall change in position of the car. The initial position and final position of the car are the same, point A. Though the car has traveled 120 meters from point A to B and another 120 meters from B to A, the distance from the initial to the final position of the car is zero. The car started and ended up in the same position. Thus, the displacement of the car is zero. The other way to determine the overall displacement is by calculating the sum of the changes in the position of the car relative to the frame of reference. When using this process, consider the signs of the displacements. Let us analyze the change in position of the car by considering point A as the frame of reference. From this point, the car moved to point B, which is 120 meters to the east. The east direction gives this displacement a positive sign. In the computation, this value should be written as positive 120 meters. Then, it traveled 120 meters back to point A, which is its initial position. The west direction of the change in position of the car gives it a negative sign. It should be written as negative 120 meters in the computation. The sum of positive 120 and negative 120 meters is 0 meter. 
meaning though the car has covered the distance by traveling from point A to B, then back to A, there is no change in the initial and final positions of the car. The distance from the initial to the final position of the car is zero. The car travels from point A to B. What if after reaching point B, the car travels back and stops at the midpoint of points A and B? In this example, the total distance covered by the car is the sum of the distance it traveled from A to B and the distance from B to the midpoint of the two points, which happens to be 60 meters. The total distance is the sum of 120 meters and 60 meters, which is equal to 180 meters. On the other hand, the displacement of the car is a straight path from point A, which is its initial position, to the final position of the car, which is 60 meters away from point A. Let us represent the displacement with an arrow from the initial to the final position of the car. The displacement of the car is equal to the difference of its final and initial positions, or 60 meters minus 0 meter, which is equal to 60 meters. The arrow is towards the east direction, so the final displacement is 60 meters to the east. We can also interpret the change in position of the car this way. Relative to point A, point B is 120 meters away to the east, so it has a positive sign. And 60 meters is the change in position towards point A and to the west. That's why it has a negative sign. Thus, displacement is equal to 120 meters plus negative 60 meters equals 60 meters to the east. Again, the positive sign for the magnitude of the displacement means it is towards the positive direction or to the east. This time, let us consider the car that moves from point A to B. Then to C as its destination. Point B is 120 meters away from A and point C is 100 meters away from B. What is the distance and displacement of the car? The total distance is 120 meters, the distance traveled by the car from point A to B, plus 100 meters, the distance traveled by the car from B to C, which is equal to 220 meters. The displacement is a straight path from the initial position, point A, to the final position, point C of the car. Here, you can see that the paths form a right triangle. The displacement, the path from point A to C, can be found using the Pythagorean theorem. The equation is C square equals A square plus B square. A is the side AB, which is 120 meters, B is the side BC, which is 100 meters, and C is the side AC, which is actually the hypotenuse of the right triangle. This is also the displacement of the car. Hence, C square equals A square plus B square can also be written as delta D square equals AB square plus negative BC square. Delta D square equals 120 meters square plus negative 100 meters square. Get the square root of both sides. So delta D is equal to square root of 120 meters square plus negative 100 meters square. Then delta D is equal to 156.20 meters. The displacement's direction is between the south and east, and so, the final displacement is 156.20 meters south of east. What can you infer about the distance and displacement from the given scenarios? It is important to note that the distance traveled does not have to equal the magnitude of the displacement, specifically if an object changes direction in its journey. 
the total distance traveled, as shown in our examples, will be greater than the magnitude of the displacement between those two points. Let us check your understanding of the difference between distance and displacement by answering the following problems. You can pause the video if necessary. The man runs exactly two laps around a 400-meter track. Determine the distance and displacement of the man. The man covers a 400-meter distance for every lap around the track. Hence, the distance traveled by the man for completing two laps around the track is 400 meters plus 400 meters is equal to 800 meters. The position where the man started running is the same position where he ended in the track. Thus, the displacement of the man is zero. The car moves from point A to point B to point C, then back to point B, and then to point C along the line shown in the figure. A. Find the distance covered by the moving object. B. Find the magnitude and direction of the displacement of the object. The distances traveled by the man are the following. Distance from A to B equals 500 meters. B to C is equal to 500 meters. C to B is equal to 500 meters. And B to C is equal to 500 meters. So the total distance traveled by the man is 500 meters plus 500 meters plus 500 meters plus 500 meters is equal to 2,000 meters. The magnitude of the displacement of the car can be determined by solving for the difference of its final and initial positions. The final position of the car is point C, which is 1,000 meters away from point A, its initial position. The displacement of the car is 1,000 meters minus 0 meter equals 1,000 meters. The direction of the arrow connecting the initial and final positions of the car is to the east or to the right. So the final displacement of the car is 1,000 meters to the east. To summarize, distance is the measurement of the length of the actual path traveled between two points. Distance is a scalar quantity. It has no direction and thus no negative sign. It can either be equal to the value of displacement or greater than it. Displacement is defined to be the change in position of an object. It is the direct distance from the initial to the final position of an object. It is a vector quantity and has a magnitude and direction. It always happens in a specific direction. The displacement can be equal or less than the distance covered by an object under consideration. Now what do you think is the significance of the Santa Monica Lawton Bridge to the motorists traveling from Pasig to BGC Taguig? Right, instead of using so much fuel taking the route which requires a long distance and hours of travel, not to mention avoiding the heavy traffic in EDSA, the bridge is an alternative route, a short distance trip from Pasig to BGC Taguig. For more related videos, don't forget to like this video, click the notification bell, and subscribe in this channel.